I'm Doma T. Pongo, and this is MTV News Presents Rising, featuring the artists who seem like they've blown up overnight. And here with her viral hit, What Are You Doing Now, is Sadie Jean. Woo! I saw you on the back of my show last night, standing underneath the exit sign. I know it wasn't really you, though, because you were always in the front row. And I've been looking for love online And maybe some of them are real good guys They're never gonna be like you though You set the bar above the moon, so I don't wanna be 20 something And still in my head about 17 in my bedroom talking You said that by now we'd paint the walls of our shared apartment You're still everything I want What are you doing now? Now that you finally got the job you like I'm making money off the songs I write I know you said that I could call you I wonder if you wanna call too Now that the future doesn't feel so far It doesn't seem as wrong to want what's ours And after everything that's happened I wanna put it in the past tense Cause I don't wanna be 20 songs So we got a lot to talk about. Do you mind Amazing. if I pull up a chair? Yes, and, yes. Yeah, let's get this out the way. Let's Yay. get into it. We talk a lot about overnight successes, but a lot of folks don't know how much work it takes yeah. to be an overnight success. Literally, yeah. Break down your writing process and how long you've been writing. I've been writing songs <laughs> like for as long as I can remember. Before I could write things down, I would make my sister be my scribe and write songs down for me because I was like three and just making up songs in the car and like everywhere I went. And then I started doing piano lessons and then I was able to like put chords to songs and then eventually I learned how to write and I could write my own lyrics down. And so I have songs from my whole life. Like I have songs from elementary school, of trauma on the playground and like middle school, like <laughs> my crush that I had forever. So it's really cool to like look back and see my whole life story in songs. <laughs> so tell me how What Are You Doing Now came to be. So I write songs with my two best friends, Grace Anger and David Alexander, like all the time. And I was like so sad about my ex-boyfriend and, <laughs> and they had no, because all the songs we had written for that past year were about the same guy. And they were like, oh, are we gonna write another one? I was like, yes, I'm so glad. <laughs> are you glad you wrote one more? <laughs> uh, I wrote a few more, but yeah. A few days before we left, I sent a Snapchat to Grace of me like sobbing. And I was like, I think this weekend will be a great writing trip. <laughs> <laughs> were you always intent on this being the first single? No, I had a few others that I thought were gonna be the first one. And then I put this on TikTok the day after we wrote it and it went kind of crazy. <laughs> and so I was just like, okay, I'm down. I like this song. <laughs> crazy is an understatement. Like when did you realize that this was going viral, getting millions of views? That was the craziest experience of my life, just the 
progress of how everything happened. Basically, the day after we wrote the song, me and David filmed ourselves listening back to it in the studio. And he was like, you should send this to him. And I got it on video, and then <laughs> I put it on TikTok. And that did really well. I would just check the sound like a week later or something. It had about 100 videos under it. And I was just in shock. And then it just kept growing, kept growing. and. Other people's videos with my sound started to go viral, like more viral than my videos. And I was a little jealous. But then I was like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> it was really cool. And then I did the open verse, which was actually the best experience of my life, watching everyone's like songs and yeah. All of a sudden I was like, oh whoa. I didn't realize this was <laughs> happening. <laughs> my favorite thing with your TikTok page is when you say, What is happening right now? <laughs> Literally me all the time. Even being here, I'm just like, what am I doing? <laughs> like, what is this is crazy. <laughs> but this is where you belong because so many folks love it, as evidenced in the open verse challenge. Lil Yachty jumped on it, which Oh my was god, super that dope. was crazy. I died. That was <laughs> I just didn't expect that at all. I mean, everything surprised me. Everything surprises me, I feel like. Was there a moment where you realized, okay, this is real. I am officially a full-blown, full-time <laughs> entertainer. When the song came out, that was when I think it felt real because it was going viral on TikTok and I was just hoping that it would translate to streaming platforms. And then when it actually did translate, like the first day, I was in class, just like refresh, refresh, like the Spotify stream. <laughs> yeah. And my really great friend Grace, who also wrote this song, was down the hall, also in class. And so we would be like texting, like, oh my God, it's about to hit 500,000, it's about to hit 500,000, in the first day. And then we would like run out and I was like, wave at her window <laughs> like she's in class. And it was on the iTunes charts. It was so wild. I think that was when I, I guess, realized, but I still don't feel like I've processed any of it. I'm curious, since the song has come out, what have been some of the biggest changes in your life right now? I don't know. Every, everything is that I like dreamed about is kind of feels possible. And just mentally adjusting to that has been a lot. And like it's very exciting. And it's also a lot of pressure sometimes, so it's just finding a balance of like normal life and like career stuff that I wasn't used to before. Yeah, things are, I'm sure are moving so fast right now. Yeah. Is there an album or debut EP in the works? Talk to me, what can you tell there us? There is definitely a lot in the works. Yeah? Yeah, I think people are gonna be really excited. I, I love the songs that are gonna come out. Well, look, there are some people that are obsessed with you, and I've been hogging you, but it's really <laughs> about your fans. And so we asked a couple of them to send some videos in with some questions that they wanted to ask you. Wow. And our first question is from Matt. Hi, Sadie, it's Matt. I'm a huge fan, and I was just wondering, how did it feel the first time you performed What Are You Doing Now on stage? Job, that is so cute. <laughs> you see, you wore a hot sweater just for you, too. Oh, my God, <laughs> Matt. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. The first time I sang What Are You Doing Now was before it came out, actually. I definitely wanted to cry <laughs> on stage. On stage. Yeah. It was still raw, that emotion. Yeah. I feel like it was, yeah. Does the emotion come back each time you do the song? The feeling that you feel? A little right? bit, because it just takes me back to when I was writing it. Mm -hmm. I've definitely healed a lot since the song came out. It was really cathartic for the song to come out. The song is just sad, so I, I definitely tap into that emotion every time I sing it. And that's why the fans tap into you. We've all been there before. The next one is from Gavi. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. Isn't this cute? Hey, Sadie. I'm Gavi. I'm a huge fan of your music and a huge fan of your TikTok. My question for you is, what advice would you give to me being a singer-songwriter trying to make it in the industry? Oh. For another singer-songwriter, I would just say, be as honest as you can in your songs. Or that's what I, that's what I like. Or, or make something up. <laughs> I guess my advice would be just do whatever you want and like, I don't know, have fun with it. Just do what you feel. Yeah. I love that, I love yeah. that. Well, you've got fans all over the world and Isabella is one of them. She has a beautiful question for you. Hi, Sadie. I'm Isabella, I'm from Guatemala. I saw your music on TikTok and I love it so much. And I have a question for you. What has been the greatest lesson you have learned in the process of releasing your first song? Oh my gosh, that's so cool that I, people know who I am in their places. <laughs> um, wow. The greatest lesson I've learned from releasing the song, that other people relate to what I went through. Hmm. I didn't really realize that many people had the same feelings as me until I released the song. And that was really cool to see the comments in the videos that people made. It was great. 
experience for me. That's beautiful. And we've got one last fan question, but this is from a super special fan because he's a singer songwriter himself and a big fan of you. This is a special one, you ready? I'm, I'm like scared. Hey, what's up, Sadie? <gasps> it's Lauv. I just wanted to say I'm a huge fan of your song. No what are you doing now? Um, you're super sick. And I wanted Stop. to say, uh, what is the easiest <gasps> and hardest part of songwriting for you? <laughs> <laughs> what? Forget the question. Let's just bask in this moment right now. <laughs> well, I didn't even hear what you just said. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my God, that's so cool. How sick is that? That's so sick. <laughs> He's so cool. So he said, what is the easiest and hardest part of songwriting for you? The easiest part is probably like melodies. I really, I have so much fun like coming up with melodies. The hardest part is probably sometimes deciding what I want the song to be about, like the angle of the song. Because I get so overwhelmed and sometimes I'll pull up to like a session and like the people I'm writing it with will be like, what do you want to write about? <laughs> and I'll just go on a rant for like an hour and just be like, I don't know, like this is happening, this is happening. And like, I don't know what the song is, but like a lot is happening. <laughs> and then sit there like... we have to like, we have to like really <laughs> navigate through it. That's probably sometimes the hardest part. Sometimes that's the easiest part too. I don't know, it's different every time. And what is your favorite part about the songwriting process? Mm. Probably listening back to it after, like when you have the final product, like when I play it through and just being like, I just made this. This exists now and it didn't like an hour ago or, yeah, I think that's my favorite part. Well, this is beautiful. Thank you so much for taking the time to kick it with us and your fans, Sadie. I hope this was fun for you as it was for us. This was so fun. Thank Th you for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to Lau for sending that beautiful question yes. and message. And I can't wait to see what you have in store for us for the future and watching your career take off, man. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Dover T. Pongo with MTV News. Thank you all so much for tuning in. See you next time.